Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to set up app-specific buttons on Logitech MX Master 4 for applications like Zoom or Teams. So first thing you have to do is download the official Logitech software, uh, which is called uh, Logi Options uh, Plus. It's available to download uh, on the official Logitech.com website. Uh, once you download it, install, then sign in to your account uh, and then just connect your mouse uh, to your computer using Bluetooth or any other connection type that you prefer. And once you do that, you'll be able to see your mouse on the devices list. Now I'll click on it and then go to buttons section and here top show actions ring. Then select configure actions ring. And now let's add some specific plugins to use these uh, customized patterns. To do that, open the marketplace by tapping this purple shop icon in the top right corner of the screen. And now let's find Zoom and Teams. Uh, so open, you, you can either use the search field or just find the application you need on the list. Currently there, uh, there are not many applications here. As you can see here, we have Microsoft Teams for Business. Unfortunately, that's the only option available for this mouse currently when I'm recording this video. Maybe in the future they will prove themselves as, the, as a more user-friendly um, company and they will add the regular Microsoft Teams plugin here. Okay, so uh, in order to install uh, the plugin, just click install, then wait until the plugin is successfully installed. Uh, now let's also add the plugin for Microsoft Teams for Business. Unfortunately, I don't have it on my PC, but I'm gonna tell you how to set it up anyway. Uh, so, once you download and install the Zoom plugin, uh, you'll see there are there is uh, a default preset for Zoom, uh, which have, uh, well, pretty much the essential features for Zoom. And uh, if you want to replace any of them, you just have to select all actions right here, then select Zoom, and then uh, find the action that you want to use instead of one of these actions, and just grab it and drag it to the place where you want to put it. You can also remove the old plugin by clicking the uh, three dot icon in the top right corner of the action, then select delete action, and then you can add a folder for different actions by tapping the, three, the same three dot icon and then create a folder and now you can add uh, various actions to this folder which is very convenient and now if you press and hold the uh, action circle on your mouse you'll be able to select the folder uh, it will open the folder and will let you choose one of these available options and now uh, to use this uh, action wheel or action circle in zoom basically all you have to do is open zoom on your computer so let me find the zoom and once you do that once you enter this uh, application you just have to hold down the action circle and as you can see uh, here we have the uh, here we have the sa very same preset as we have right here so basically uh, if you if you use it outside of zoom uh, you will have the default uh, actions preset and once you enter zoom you'll be able to use your uh, custom one you can also one thing i didn't mention that is that you can also customize icons uh, on your action uh, actions wheel by tapping the three dot icon uh, next to the actions na uh, name and then select edit icon well, basically, you can uh, change the icon using the default icons right, uh, in, on the left side of your window. Now, maybe, maybe let's let's use I don't know uh, this one. And then you can select one of the avail uh, default layouts to adjust your icons uh, look, and then click save. You can also format test, icon color, uh, 
if you don't uh, find the icon you need right here you can get more icons from the marketplace by clicking right here but once once you ready click uh, ok uh, save and as, as you can see we have just customized this icon and now it's full display in the very same way that we see right here and now uh, as for the themes click all actions select Microsoft Teams for business and as you can see to connect this plugin you'll have to enable third-party app uh, API in Teams privacy settings now how to do that so basically you first you have to open settings in your uh, Teams app uh, now I, I have the default Teams app on my computer so I can show you what it looks like so uh, for for you to to navigate easily so just uh, tap the three dot icon in the top right corner of the window and then select settings and then in settings you have to go to privacy tab and here you'll have uh, the feature the option that I, I don't have since I use the default teams uh, the default teams uh, application which says third-party apps uh, API and what you have to do is simply switch the toggle to the right next to it just like you see the toggles right here and to enable enable uh, the third-party API and and once you do that you'll be able to use your Microsoft Teams for business actions just in the same way uh, as we did it with the zoom uh, actions now whenever you want to remove your uh, actions list or actions well you just have to tap for, on your actions profile right here then tap three dot icons next to the profile and click remove and once you remove the last profile you have on your computer uh, this uh, this plugin will be uninstalled now as for uh, Microsoft Teams for business uh, in my case, just I just have to tap the three dot icons right here and click uninstall and confirm. And that's basically it. So I hope that this video helped you. And if it did, please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave us a like in the comment below. And I'll see you in the next one.